Convergence is upon us. Yes, the giant epic event for DC this year. Event season is here big time with Convergence and with Marvel doing Secret Wars slash Battleground, Battle World, all that kind of stuff. Uh, the more they come out, the more they sound the same, but that's not the point. The point is today, Convergence number one came out. Last week, issue zero came out. But this is where it really begins, where things really start happening. Convergence number one starts by focusing off on a lot of the Earth 2 heroes, which uh, for Earth 2 fans, I'm sure is amazing. Not amazing, but uh, it's good. But for a lot of people that haven't been keeping up with Earth 2, it doesn't quite have the impact that most big events have. Although it is kind of cool to see not lesser characters, but somewhat lesser characters uh, get the spotlight for now. Uh, this issue is very heavy-handed. It's got some kind of corny moments, some kind of just peculiar choices. Uh, overall, though, it does have an event feel to it. It does feel big and important. It sets up the premise for why all these different DC worlds are fighting in a basic tournament-type situation. And it has some moments I did enjoy. I seem to be kind of in the middle on this one where I am looking forward to Convergence hesitantly. Uh, very hesitant on looking forward to it. Because the premise, although simple and kind of cliche, it's still very cool to see all these different DC universes having to fight and getting a little bit of taste that we already have. I know there will be fights I'm looking forward to make craft. We already have a bajillion tie-ins. These are just the ones that I got... For me, there's like four others. Uh, so it is cool. It's awesome to see a lot of these characters back, of course. A little bit of nostalgia, a little bit just longing for characters that you just saw a few years ago and wonder what happened to them. So that aspect seems to be a, the driving force here so far. Now, Talos, the Brain Next situation and all stuff, I know they'll elaborate more on it, but they really do need to step up on what's going on because right now they set up why the world are fighting. But not really, just kind of get that, hey, all these universes are going to fight, it's kind of a tournament, let's see who's left standing. Which, although, cool, this is, I mean, we had issue zero, this is issue one, and so we basically had set up for this setup. I'm already kind of feeling this may turn into just a lot of setup with not a lot of payoff. It's still too early to tell. I did enjoy Converges number one, there are a few kind of cringy moments, a uh, speech where they were tall, was talking to everybody, and... It's kind of cool, kind of corny, and then kind of cringy. He's just mentioning all these big events, Infinite Crisis, Kingdom Come. Like Some of you have come from to me from an Infinite Crisis. Some of you have come from a Flashpoint that created a different paradox of a world. And Partly, I get what they're doing. It's kind of cool to tell everyone, hey, these worlds are going to be here. They're going to be in full force. At the same time, it's just kind of cringy dialogue. And it's corny enough to like and cringy enough to not like. So I'm still on the fence on it a lot. Uh, I think it's hope for the series. I think it could be very fun and effective. I think I say give it a try. Uh, at least give issue one a try. When issue two comes out, give it a try. If not, just try to enjoy. Either try to enjoy some of the cool tie-ins, like Question, or enjoy the bonus money that's in your wallet for the next two months. Either way, I think issue number one is worth a shot. But don't go in expecting a lot. Go in expecting just a set up in a decent story. So for that reason, I'd say get it, but only if you have the money to spare. Uh, if you've read it already, tell me what you guys think of it. Leave a comment below. Like, dislike, just tell me what you think about Convergence number one. I will continue covering Convergence. I know I've been drifting a lot on uh, the comic videos, but Convergence is a big deal, so I will try to keep up with it regularly. I definitely won't do all the tie-ins, maybe a few here and there, but already way too many of them and way too many I just don't care about and a few that I am ex really excited about so we'll see how that goes. Well I'll see you guys in another review or video.